fact is that I literally started this whole YouTube account and my Instagram just to be able to receive ARCs. So what are ARCs? If you don't know, they are advanced reader copies. What does that mean? That means an ARC is um, an author and a publisher of the book. The before it is out to the public, they have a certain amount of books that they um, work with their team to decide that they are going to give out to advanced readers, which would be me, hi. <laughs> um, and they approve you for their book and then they expect you to read it. Um, if there's anything in there that you found is maybe an error or, you know, doesn't exactly flow right or whatever your opinions may be, you jot those down. You can leave a private note for the author that they can see that, um, you obviously you do not want to be harsh. You do not want to be mean. Um, you want to just say, you know, this was my, my personal thoughts and opinions, and this is maybe a spelling error I found or whatever. Um, just so that they know, even if it's probably taken care of, because this isn't like a published copy that you're going to get and then review it, um, on Goodreads, Amazon, Instagram, YouTube, anywhere you can get it out there, just get it out there, write a nice long review for them and tell, everything that you thought of the book, what you liked, um, what went well, how the storyline went, what how, what you thought of the characters, um, how you liked the writing style, all that good stuff. There's lots you can include in your review. And then you want to hype the book. You want to figure out when the book is coming out to the public, when it will be available for purchase and put that on your post, make a post on Instagram, YouTube, wherever that you do your social media and make that post, hype the book. Also a fun thing you can do is you can follow the author on Instagram. And a lot of the times before the book comes out, the author is hyping the book. Also the publication company is hyping the book and you can share those, those posts to your Instagram story and tag the author, tag the publisher so that people, um, can see this amazing book that you were given in advanced reader copy of and they can go purchase it or pre-purchase it um sorry pre-order it and um just get excited about the book you just want to get information out there about the book because the author is literally trusting you with their baby they're trusting you with their project that they worked so hard on and they chose you to read it and you get to read and review it and hype it for them so if that's something that sounds like is what you want to do, um, it's probably why you're watching this video. I will show you in a little bit later on in the video how to go about doing that. Um, there is many ways you can go about doing that. So um, we'll get into that in a minute. But pretty much I started this whole YouTube account and Instagram account because I really wanted to be able to do that. Um, it is such an amazing thing and it makes you feel so special and so blessed that this author literally chose you out of hundreds and hundreds of people that applied for their book um, to be trusted with reading their book and reviewing it and hyping it and all of that good stuff. But they trusted you and they spent countless hours, days, months, sometimes even years on writing this book. And it is not an easy task to write a book. Um, and so I feel so incredible whenever I get chosen to be an ARC reader of a book. And um, I do not talk about it enough on YouTube. So I am going to get started with this video. And then um, in the future, you can look forward to seeing some of my ARC review videos on here because I'll be making those as well. Um, mostly where I do a lot of hype for ARCs is on Instagram because I feel like I just have the biggest audience on Instagram. So I like to promote to the biggest audience possible. Um, so I usually read a book, write a nice review, make a really nice picture of the book. Sometimes I'll reach out to the author and see if there's any specific pictures they would like me to use. And then I will make a post and then I will write my review in there and I will tell people when it's releasing and what I thought of it and just get real excited for it on there. Um, so that's always a nice thing you can do for the author and then make sure you tag them in it if it is a nice review. If it is not a nice review, um, like if it's a three star or less, I usually won't tag the author just because I just don't necessarily want them to feel any type of way about it. I don't want them to feel bad that I didn't like their book. It just, maybe it wasn't for me, but, um, 
For the most part, I have been really lucky to have mostly four star review books when it comes to my ARCs. Um, there is only one ARC in all of the history of me doing ARCs that I rated two stars and I did not even um, post about that one yet. And I have been kind of like trying to figure out how exactly I should post about that because I really still want to post about it, even though the book wasn't necessarily for me, it was still a good book and there are people out there that most likely will probably enjoy the book way more than I did. And I still would like to share those thoughts with people. So where do we get arcs from? Well, you can get them from NetGalley or Book Sirens. Those are two of the most popular ones that I use. Um, you can also follow publishers, follow authors on Instagram, and you can reach out in the DMs to them and just say, I'm really interested in your new book or in this book or whatever. And I would love to be considered to be part of your ARC review team. Um, show them a few examples of the reviews you've written or posts you've made about um, ARCs that you have reviewed and just kind of wait and see. I have gotten ARCs that way before. Um, if I'm really, really interested in a book, I will do that just to make sure that I am able to read it. Um, and if you are not accepted that way or you are not accepted on Book Sirens or any other website, don't be upset about it. Don't get hurt feelings. Don't like be like, I am never reading this book. I hate this author now. Um, they literally have a limited amount of books that they are even allowed to share in this way. And it is not their fault if they reject you. There are so many different um, aspects of why you might get rejected. If you get rejected, you get rejected. Still put the um, book on your TBR and still go out there and buy it and read it if you are really interested in it. Um, a lot of the times when I don't get approved for books, I immediately put them on my TBR so that I won't forget about them because I had an interest in reading it. I literally had an interest in reading and reviewing it. I reached out, I tried to get it, didn't get it. Well, that's okay. I'm still gonna go out there and read it and see what I think of it. When you do get approved though, please make sure you write down the date, put it in your calendar, make sure you have a reminder that you need to read it by this date. Well, actually you should be reading it before the date that it comes out so that you can get the hype out there and get it talked about and all of that. Um, but I would, if you're going to try to be an ARC reviewer, I would just like stress to you to please take it extremely seriously. Like right now, um, any ARC that I have received in this year, um, I have read and reviewed, except for the new ones that I just got that I have obviously, cause I just keep it rolling. But, um, my new ones, I am putting them at the top of my list. They are my top priority. My goal for this year was to read an ARC um, one per month for the whole year. And so far I have far surpassed that goal, which is awesome. And I'm really excited about that because um, I love to be a part of this book community. I love books and to have books, you have to have authors. And why wouldn't you wanna just support the authors since you love books, you know? It's kind of how I look at it. I really wanna also show you on NetGalley how to go about even getting um, ARCs. So I'll I'll bring you through that in a minute. All right, so here we are at NetGalley. It's netgalley.com. I will also leave a link for it in the description along with Book Sirens. I'm only gonna show you NetGalley because they're the same idea. Um, but when you get to NetGalley, this is the screen that pops up for me. I have my start reading book. So you saw these three in my book journal. Um, this was the one I recently got approved for as well. But you have the option to get it on your Kindle app, which is this right here, or you can also download it as like a PDF file or a, any other type of file. It, it gives you the options. And then when you click download it, well, right now I downloaded it to my computer, but usually I open this up in my um, iPad and then I'll download them onto there. We have an area where it says um, give feedback. So these two have popped up in here because these were the ones that I have downloaded and um, I need to give feedback. So once, let me just show you what it looks like to give feedback. You click on this, you put your review in here. You can check this if you want to post it to Goodreads as well. If you have already posted it to Goodreads, you press this button and you post in your Goodreads review link in here so the author can see it. And then you give it a star rating right here. And then if you have an Instagram link or a YouTube link or anything else, you press add links and then you add your other links and then you can send your review right here. 
Um, and then there's usually a spot when you press send review to write the author a private little note. So that's where you can write those like spelling errors or anything else you may um, have to just want to share with the author. And then if you go back up, you can click, um, you have all your ones where you have sent feedback in here, where you, where you shared your feedback to, and then you can view feedback and update it if you have any updates to make or add other links or anything like that. Um, then you can go to dashboard to find new stuff. And in here it gives you, you know, you can select your categories that you like to use and it will give you recommendations in here of things that are similar to the categories you selected in there. You press find titles and they, they actually offer audiobooks. So here's the audiobook section. You can always press see all and then you can also sort them by like different categories if you're looking for a specific thing. If you're looking for a specific title or author, you can search up here, which is really cool. Um, then you can come down here to the recently added section to see what's new. Um, and then like Disney has their stuff that they published here. I think that's something I said I was interested in. And then my favorite section is the most requested books because these are usually the popular books. This is what everyone wants. And <laughs> these are the ones that are usually, um, the most well-known author or well-known books. Um, so I kind of just want to show you this category really quick. So here's the category. Here's all the most requested books and what's cool sort these by like a to z authors a to z titles most requested date added that type of thing so there's lots of different toggles you can toggle this which is really cool um this one right here i just got the first one to this so this one i know is a sequel that sequel um that's another important thing to keep in mind is if a book is a sequel you will have to read the other ones in in that those sequels first so that's important to keep in mind so that's pretty much how you work nagali and um you also have stats go to your page it will show you these stats right here um so i've been approved for 15 and i have given 10 of them feedback so my so my feedback ratio is 67% and they request you, they want you to keep it at 80% for you to like be um, approved more is what they suggest. Um, so that's why I don't like to take on more than what I have right now. Like I have five from this website and then I have um, two, I think from NetGalley and one from a private author. So yeah, that's a lot of arcs and I need to read through what I've got before I do any more requests so I can get my feedback ratio up a little bit more. Um, but in here is also where you get to select like the genres you're interested in, the topics you want. You can write a little bio that authors can read or um, publishers can read and then you can connect your um, accounts in here so that they can go ahead and look at that when they want to approve it. And then I also want to show you my book journal. I have that right here. And this is how I keep track of all my arcs. Let me just show you what I was talking about. So this is my arc pages here. I actually have a couple more that I need to add in here and I haven't even done yet. Um, but pretty much if I get an arc, I will print off the book cover, put it in here, draw these cute little lines around it to make it look really cute, put the date up here of when it needs to be read by. And then when I get done with it, I'll put the stars down here and highlight the date. So right now I've read all of these. I've read these two. This is my newest page. These are my newest arcs that I've got that I really need to read right away. These are the two that take absolute priority because they have to be read before 1031 because this is their release date and this one as well because this is 11-1 and right now um, I'm filming this and it is October the 5th so I'm currently reading this one. I'm actually almost done with it and then I will move right along to this one and this one and get those read as soon as possible and then the pressure's off a little bit because the next soonest one I have to read is by March. So that, that's good. These three had like really um, quick release dates. So that was something I knew before I got them. So no worries. You, you do know your release dates before you request to read them. So make sure you keep that in mind. And this page as well, I have read all of these books and they were all amazing. As you can see, this one got three stars, but I still really liked it and just didn't get 
four stars for me, but um, this one was four, this one was four, and these three were five, which is amazing. And also this author right here, I don't know if you noticed, but this book as well was the follow-up to this one. And I ended up getting both arcs and reached out to the author and told her how absolutely amazing her books are. And I found a new favorite author here by reading these books. So that was really, really cool. And um, you will most likely come across stuff like that as well. And it looks like I'll also be needing this page because I, like I said, have two more arcs that I did get approved for. So those need to go up here. And then I'm hoping to get at least maybe two more before the end of the year. But right now I am currently not accepting new offers because I want to read what I'm responsible for right now, right here. So that's it, that's all I have to say about ARCs. I hope that um, this video helped you if you're interested in getting ARCs and you just wanted to hear more about it or you wanna start your own NetGalley account and get ARCs. Um, and if you're thinking of starting a bookstagram, go ahead and do it and make sure you add me on Instagram and I would love to hear from you. Send me a DM, let me know you are a subscriber on YouTube and I will happily follow you back. Um, and just join the bookish community. If you're questioning it, don't question it, just do it. Um, I questioned it for a while. I questioned it for like a year and I regret sitting there questioning it. I should have started it way sooner than I did um, because I love it. And honestly, I use Bookstagram way more than I use my regular Instagram. For the most part, I'm always just like on book Bookstagram and I very rarely even use my own personal Instagram anymore. So um yeah thanks for hanging out with me today again and watching another video and if you have any questions i would be happy to help um just leave them in the comment section below and if you like this video today please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you are interested in more content like this or any other types of bookish content because there is tons of videos that i have out right now for you guys so make sure you um go to my channel and show some other videos a little bit of love if you like this video and I also post a weekly video every single Friday. So make sure you look out for that. Um, and that's really all I have to say. And thank you for joining me. I think I already said that a million times, but I'll see you on a new video soon. Bye.